Merry Christmas! Merry Christmas! I'm so excited! You might be saying, Mr. Senhauser, it's not Christmas. It's not anywhere close to Miss, Mr. <laughs> it's not anywhere close to Christmas. I know, but you know what? We have made it to the last chapter, the last concepts of math. And so we're celebrating like it's Christmas. You know what? If your family doesn't celebrate Christmas, it's totally cool. Happy Hanukkah, happy holidays. Or you know what? Hey, just have a great day. That's totally cool. But we're celebrating like it's Christmas today. And today, we're gonna be learning about classify quadrilaterals. It sort of made me think about, you know, when we have presents and stuff, they come in different shapes. And it reminded me of these shapes here. And so I thought this would be sort of a fun way to talk about classifying quadrilaterals. So classify means to put into groups. And quadrilateral, well, what do you think that means? That's right. A triangle has three sides. A quadrilateral has four sides. Four sides. So let's talk about today's quadrilaterals as how we and how we classify them. The first one here is called a parallelogram. A parallelogram, parallel. Do you remember what that means? Yeah, it means like the lines go like this or this. They can even go like this or this. Parallel. That means they're never going to touch. Well, we have four sides and this one has two pair of parallel sides. One pair, two pair. That's what we call a parallelogram. A four-sided shape with two pair of parallel sides. Well, let's look at this. Now, this looks like a present right here. That's a shape you guys have known for years and years and years. It is called a rectangle. And did you know it is a parallelogram? It's a parallelogram, but it's a little different. What do you notice different about this and this? Hmm. You see it? Yeah. It has to do with the angles. That's right, the angles. You'll notice it has something here. What are those angles called? Do you remember? That's right. They're called right angles. Right angles. That means they come together like this. There's a fancy math word for it. Perp. Bendicular, that's right. And you'll notice it has one, two, three, four right angles. So a rectangle is a parallelogram, but with four right angles. Well, let's come on down here. This looks very similar, but can you tell me what is different about these two? Now, you may be familiar with this shape. I took it and turned it sideways, and all these shapes can be turned on their side any direction, it's totally cool. We used to call that a diamond, but you know, the math people, we gotta be like, hey, you gotta be really official and everything. It's totally cool, whatever. Okay, the name we call it is a rhombus. What do you notice about how this is a lot like this? Yeah, it has two pair of parallel sides, but what makes it a rhombus? It has four sides all the, that's right four sides all the same. You got it. So, rhombus is a parallelogram, but with four sides all the same. Then we move over to this one here. Now these look very similar. These sort of look similar. They, did you notice that? This one, it looks just like this. It's like a rectangle. And do you know, oh, wait a minute. It's called a square. I think we all knew that. It's called a square and it's just like, it is a type of rectangle because it has Four, it has two pair of parallel sides. It has all sides the same length. And what's the other thing a square has? Do you remember? That's right, it has four right angles. That's what makes a square a square. And the music's about ready to go ahead and repeat. We'll do it one more time, we'll wrap it up. There's one more shape we don't wanna forget about. And I love the name. It's called a trapezoid. And it's right down here. And a trapezoid has four sides. 
it has only one pair of parallel sides, okay? And this one is a trapezoid too. It actually has two right angles, but the big thing is it has four sides, but only one pair of parallel sides. Boys and girls, this has just been a little lesson on how we can classify these four-sided shapes called quadrilaterals. I've enjoyed teaching you guys this lesson. Hope you guys are having a great day. Until next time, God bless. I'm Mr. Senhauser. We'll see you around.